number one bestseller, He's Just Not That Into You, has taken a lot of relationships from hopeful fantasies to awakening realities. Now, Greg Barron joins us to talk about the reality of where really the book has taken you, which is a journey. Welcome to the show. Hey, how are you? Good to have you here. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Everybody knows about the book, He's Just Not That Into You, yeah. number one bestseller. Mm -hmm. But how did you come up with the idea to write the book and then did you even think in your wildest dreams that it would have this much success? Um, well, no. To the success, to the success. <laughs> no, not at all. It's kind of silly, uh, and I didn't come up with the idea. The co-author of the book came up with the idea, but I said the phrase on a w lunch break when I was working as a consultant on Sex and the City to somebody who was having a, a dating, not a dating problem, a relationship problem. She was uh -huh. seeing somebody for a while who had never tried to become physical with her, and, I, right. and she's like, "What do you think?" I'm like. Well, what do you? It, that's bad. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, and uh, do people so, keep coming to you for advice over and over again for for their relationships? Is that how you kind of got the ball rolling? With? I guess. Well, I was there as a relationship consultant on the show, and then yeah. it just was, and and it just a, as a male consultant because it was seven women and two gay men. So my job was like, <laughs> hey, don't carry a purse. Don't let that guy. <laughs> exactly. That guy shouldn't have a purse. Uh, I don't, don't call it a man bag. Not a man bag. Uh, not right? a man bag. But um, uh, but anyway, so yes, and and then uh, and then it got into the episode. The episode turned into a. a uh, you know, it was uh, then it became a, uh, a, a book, and then we were on Oprah. And yeah, I was gonna say you went on this little show named Oprah. Things yeah. have changed just a little bit yeah, after that, right? Yeah, people apparently enjoy that show, especially the book buying public. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we went on Oprah, and you know, and Bob's your uncle. And now the 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 book itself has turned into a major motion picture. Yeah. Okay. And I'm looking at the cover here right now. You've got Jennifer Aniston in this. Yes. You've got uh, Ben Affleck. Yep. Uh, Drew Barrymore. Yeah, some young independent film stars yeah. who haven't really had a break. <laughs> <Right>. and, uh, <laughs> they needed their first break. Trying to go for a Spirit <laughs> Award, maybe get it into Sundance. Right. Hope, hope, hope. Hopefully. So we're really just trying to get, yeah. Well, now you're taking your relationship advice. You've got a, a new talk show on SoapNet, just premiered, and it's called Greg Barron's Wake Up Call. It's a reality call. series called, yeah, Greg Barron's Wake Up Call. Okay. And what I do, it's sort of a, it's a kind of like a super nanny format in that um, I wear a dress. And, oh, and I'm sorry, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> I, uh, I go to, to oh, <laughs> oof, early. I go to uh, people's houses, uh, couples that are in peril, and I uh, try and talk to them about. Talk some sense into it. I right? try and get them to break up because I find their relationships annoying <laughs> and their problems are s easily solved if they'd only do it. And then, so by the end of the weekend, I say, you either fix this or break up, but you can't stay where you are. And speaking of this which, is annoying. We're going to see a clip from, I think it's Paige and Tom, and yeah. you had to really, really rescue them. But I think Paige was just kind of pushing too much for the, the marriage thing, right? She was pushing too much. Thomas dragging his feet, and the thing I always ask women is like, why? Why do you? Why do you do this? Why? Right. You, yeah. Let's take a look. All right. This is what I want to do with my life. I'm gonna get married, and I want to have kids. And that's a dream of mine. I've always had that. What I believe is that a piece of paper, a ceremony, and a ring is never gonna make me love you more in 20 years. All right. So, what was your advice for them? Well, my advice to anybody who's in a relationship with somebody that w w won't marry them, and we have, a, there's an episode where it's, a, it's flipped, where the oh, guy okay. wants to get married, is what are you doing? This person's already told you how they feel, so move on. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's, there, there's just a certain part in life you go, you're asking someone who does want to get married to get married, you're waiting for them to change, and you can't change another person. Exactly. So knock I think it off. on any of the episodes, do you just grab people and just start shaking them? Well, I can tell you this. <laughs> <clears throat> no, there have been some shaking, definitely. <laughs> <clears throat> the show uh, doesn't always end with people coming together, which I ah. think is a really positive thing. Yeah. You know, people need to know that breaking up is actually a positive event for a lot of people, and they end up going on to greater things. Exactly. The truth hurts. But hey, somebody's got to do it. It so. does. It does hurt, and it's my job to do it. To do it. Thank you yeah. so much for being on the show. We appreciate yeah, it. And best it. of luck to you as well. And you guys have to make sure to watch Greg Barron's Wake Up Call Thursday, January 22nd at 10 p.m. on SoapNet.